On this fourth weekend after the resurrection of Jesus from the dead, we gather for worship to hear from the scriptures that our Lord is my shepherd. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He guides me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. He restores my soul. Jesus takes the poetry of King David's 23rd Psalm and announced that he is the actual shepherd spoken of in this poem. And his care over our soul not only walks with us into the darkest valleys of the shadow of death, but in laying down his life for us, the sheep, he is the good shepherd who leads us out of death and the grave by his Easter morning resurrection. He did not flee like a hired hand who cares nothing for the sheep. Oh no, not in the face of torture or thorns or nails, but in love, real love. He laid down his life and then took it up again with the authority given to him by his Father in heaven. This self-giving unto death is the standard and definition of true love. Love wills and acts for the good of the other, even to the point of death. It's all very heroic and noble, but I have trouble even serving the people that I like. I have trouble putting aside my selfish wants to care for the needs of my own family. How in the world can we ever hope to lay down our lives for others when simply laying down the screen that is in front of our faces can be a bridge too far? John, the disciple whom Jesus loved, wrote in his letter, Little children, let us not love in word or talk, but in deed and in truth. If anyone has the world's goods and sees a person in need, yet closes his heart against him, how does the love of God abide in that person? This lack of love leaves the contempt in our heart for our neighbor, our family members, and our fellow citizens of our country unchallenged and unchecked. We are hired hands who flee, leaving the vulnerable to fend for themselves. So our problem is much deeper than racism, deeper than injustice, deeper than crime or violence, but at its very core, it is a lack of love that infects every person without exception. What you see on the nightly news is only the symptom of the disease. And hired hands or foolish sheep then cannot reform a system that is infected unto death with a basic lack of love for one another. Only the shepherd only the good shepherd who is willing to lay down his life has the power and authority to raise up sheep who follow him into life and love. Jesus said, I know my own and my own know me. And this love from Jesus is unwavering and secure. For Jesus said, no one can take them from me. This love is felt and is experienced anew each day. It is a gift of grace that enables us to see fellow human beings in need and in His power have a heart that is open to their need, responsive, and then acts to serve that person. Jesus is the one loving in us and through us. This is where our shepherd is leading us to love one another. But is it really possible to love in such a way that not only could I give up my life, but give up my comforts, give up my schedule, my leisure time, or my personal preferences? No, of course not, if it is just you trying to be loving on your own. But you are no longer on your own. 
you are his. You are his sheep and he is leading you. You are his person and he dwells in you by his Holy Spirit who empowers you to serve so that your neighbor, your family, and your fellow citizens are cared for. I look forward to seeing you all this weekend in worship. At each of our four services will be the commissioning of new Stephen ministers. They have completed 50 hours of training and are now available to serve you as you are going through whatever difficulties you face in this time. And also, next Sunday, May 2nd, 13 of our young people will stand before the congregation and confirm the faith that they were given at their baptisms. We will celebrate confirmation at the 10 a.m. Maple service and the 11 a.m. Tyler services.